Welcome back guys, it's Kids Coding Flake Round here and today we're back with another video called The Chase Game. Today we'll be working on The Chase Game. This is a featuring projects from Kids Like You series. This game is submitted by Kamala. So thank you for your comment. Um, we will we will do this tutorial because we are doing it right now. So yeah, thank you for your comment. The Chase Game. We'll be learning these following concepts in Scratch. Variables, loops, broadcast messages, control sprite with keys, and sensing blocks. So we do have a shout out on the next page. So you might be one of them on the shout out. And it's about our community post on um, how on Wednesday when we did the election community post type of thing. So, sorry. And uh, we will show you. Shout out. Here are some viewers who would like to give a shout out to I am Groot. Nice name there. Ah, uh, a, 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 great job. That's correct. Joe Biden will win. Yep, you predicted correct, Cicero Legend. So yeah, he did win <laughs> today. Um, the Great Midas 21, a U.S. 2020 presidential result. Ho hope I got it cor right. Yeah, you got it correct. It's A. Adam Smith, thank you. Answers A, bro. Yep, good job. And this is the community post we did. D for me and also please give me a shout out in the video yeah we did give you a shout out but unfortunately that is incorrect but you were one of the most first ones to comment so great job answer is a this dude i think either a ni 1944 jag tiger v and indrit kumar were the i think they were the first ones to comment a so great job and um lastly johan harris Wu. So he picked D. So that I think he's also one of the first ones because he's two days ago, two days ago, two days ago, two days ago. So they're all two days ago. So I think he's also one of the first ones to do it. And and Great Midas too. And Cicero Legend. And I'm Groot. Wow, all these are all two days ago. And this one's two days ago. So this is the original game by Kamala. So I'm, we did we did the octopus because we did it um we re, we did it we, we remixed it last week but this one is the new form which she she has a bat right here and as you can see it's flying around we did add a win so um yeah look I can kill myself so when you touch the edge you die. So there is no winning, unfortunately, I don't think there is. I think we added the winning. Oh yeah, they, she still didn't add the winning. She or he did so the winning. So as you can see, when you touch the stars, you can get points. And it, it, you can't just stay on the star and get like infinite points. It has like a small weight. And when you touch the edge, you, you can't just stay on the edge and you kept up keep on losing lives. You have to like, um, uh, it, it, it has a weight before you die or lose lives or get score. So I was also, I also have a cool feature in Kamala's uh, project, which is, um, this, this is really cool. So we have the octopus, but this, I like how Kamala added, um, uh, the mod. So the mod is, always going from costumes A to B to A to B to A to B. So as you can see, when I demoed it, it went like bam, 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 bam. And it kept on going up and forth, and back and forth and back and forth. And they didn't use these two, but I got one at piece of advice for you. I, d I advise you to delete these two costumes because it will, um, you can just use next costume and you don't have to use mod. So, I, I mean, mod is optional, but you can, I, I, in my opinion, I think it's easier with just deleting C and D. So I just started my new project, Untitled 31, so we have to change it to the chase game. So, so you change it to the chase game, I'm gonna write teaching because I have two. And um, before I start, please like, share, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below for else content you want. So. I think everything here is in the sprite library. 
So if you want, want your project shout out, shout out it like Camilla, then you can comment in the comment section below, put your project linked, and we might we might shout out it, and we might make it, make it into a tutorial. So you guys can do that, and and it has to be nice and simple and easy for the kids. Yeah, you know. So. And also, um, you, you can also go comment in the community post. You never know when you're going to get a shout out, too. You never know. So anyways, let's get started. So I already have in my backpack the You Win and You Lose Sprite. So the You Win and You Lose Sprite is simple. Just paint a sprite saying, you win, you win, you lose. So as you can see, Kamala didn't have a You Win, You Lose. So... I decided to make a you wins to make the game more interesting so you can uh, actually win in the game. So I'm gonna go to the octopus. So this is the octopus. And we also need a backdrop. We can put the backdrop as underwater one. And Kamala also had that backdrop. In the costumes of octopus, we can delete all of these. So in the in Kamala's game a long time ago, when she still had she or he had still had the octopus, um, um, Kamala did not use octopus A. Kamala used octopus B. So I guess we will use octopus B as well. So let's delete octopus D, octopus E. I've never seen an octopus play drums before, uh, and. Okay, let's start. So, when the green flag is clicked, so we can delete this. We also need one more sprite, the star. And I literally forgot about that one. Star. You can also make it catch a starfish if you want, because it's underwater fiend. So yeah. So octopus. The, when the green flag is clicked, it will show. It'll switch backdrop to underwater one. That's optional, but you can do it. If you want. So, and I'm I'm gonna make it go to the middle. Go to zero, zero, and point in direction nine day. And then it'll set lives to five. So, gotta make a variable called lives. And also, we need a forever. First, we have to make the variables lives so then set lives to five make another variable score set score to zero obvious and then go forever so uh you need an if then statement if then the up arrow Then it'll oh, change y by 10. And you just duplicate this to make the down arrow. So simple, easy, down arrow, negative 10. And also the left arrow and right arrow. So you can just duplicate this, but you have to change it to x instead. So right arrow, change x by Pen, and you duplicate it and then change left arrow and change x by negative 10 so um, I'm gonna demo the game so as you can see we can move with the octopus that's all we have right now because we just all, all we do is code this we even code him losing lives because we have a lot to code and when the green flag is clicked then it'll go forever. And you know, if then statement, if then the edge, they'll lose lives. Uh, as you can see in Kamala's project, when it touches the edge, it loses lives, which is really creative in my opinion. So that's a creative way to lose lives. I'm touching the edge, then it'll change lives by minus one. And then if on edge, bounce. And then yeah, if then statement, 
Meaning if then and then no or, if then the lives equal to zero, that's when it runs out of lives. The lives equals zero. Lives equals zero or zero or, or the lives are less than zero. then it will broadcast octopus dying. So, and wait, I always get that messed up. So losing an octopus dying is different because Kamala, when, whenever you die for the octopus, it used to um, be, it used to be um, fading away as a ghost effect. So, So, uh, so we have to make a different broadcast or else it will not do the fade effect. So, yeah. So we have to move this inside here and we need to wait one second right here. So we're done with this script of code. So, and then we need a, a green flag clicked forever. If it's touch, if then it's touching the star. Then it will change score by one. It'll broadcast and wait check score. And then when I receive check score, I'll play sound a magic spell. So we don't have magic spell here. Magic spell. And I'll play a magic spell until done. And then also when I receive check score, it will, if the score equals 10, then you win. So if then score equals 10, so 10, 10, 10, look at the score, score equals 10, broadcast, you win. So we decided to put it in two different ones because we didn't want this one to block this one. So, I'm gonna not finish this code. So, when I receive octopus dying, then I'll go to x0, y0. I'll repeat 10 times. And I'll change ghost effect. Change ghost effect by 10. And it'll hide. Oh. So, and then we need to stop other scripts in the sprite. And broadcast. So we have something else to do. So we can, uh, we can take away the graphic effects in the beginning by adding change graphic effect, clear all graphic effects. And let's go to the star. Let's work on the star next. So we have the octopus right here. So we gotta make it rotation style left, right. And then the star. When the green flag is clicked, it'll go forever. And it'll glide one second to a random position. And uh, when I receive green, when the green flag is clicked, not when I receive green flag, but when the green flag is clicked, it'll go forever and then turn 15 degrees. 
so keep on rotating. So Kamala had that addition, so we also add that addition. So that's great. And so let's also work on the U loose right. There's a little bit of code too. So when the green flag is clicked, it will go to X zero Y zero and hide in the beginning because you didn't win or lose in the beginning. And then when I receive, you win. Then I'll switch costume to costume one. And it will show and stop all. I had to duplicate this and just change a little bit more. So lose, switch costume to costume two. Now it's a stop all. So let's try it out. So we didn't add the music yet, but we can add that in a second. Let's just do the music right now. Might as well do it right now. And when the green flag is clicked, it will go forever and play. So Kamala used the drum sound, which is, I think is a good sound too. So it'll play sound drum until done. And then when I receive blues, then it will stop other scripts in the sprite. So meaning that it will stop the drum sound because you lost, it will stop other scripts in the sprite. And then play sound lose until done. Because you lost, it'll stop the drum sound, or else it'll be a happy tune while you lose. Which is pretty weird. And let's try it out. As you can see, it's working well. I'm losing lives. So we will add the point and direction because the octopus was going weirdly. So let's go point and direction 90. And then we just have to put this point and direction negative 90. There. So this, I'm gonna put this right on top. So I'm gonna put this right on top. So you can just make it negative 90 for right arrow because it acts still a little bit funky. And left arrow, it's negative 90, so you'll get a, a point in the other direction. Or you can do it my way and then go and, um, and do that and flip it horizontally. So I'm gonna show you guys how to win. So I'm gonna just change some code up here. The score, the score equals two, then you win. So one, two, zero, you win. It works. And let's change start to ten for now. And I'm, I'm gonna show you the losing. One. basically it for this video um i'm gonna move that right over there you can do that as optional just to make it look better but that's like basically it for the this video so please like share subscribe and comment in the comment section below for us to continue see you guys